what's up guys it's me again back again with another video if you're new here my name is river and i'm here to give you my full my my thoughts my feelings my opinions my reaction to this entire video um it is something that i saw on the shade room and i absolutely wanted to give you guys my input so i'm going to go ahead and play the video and then i'm going to give you guys my feelings after the process of establishing all of my information my documents i need to see the contracts i need you know when you start when you're a celebrity they want to do everything right. when it comes to the attorneys so when christmas rolled around they was like i was like look we don't have an agreement we don't have an agreement of what to pay that's what we're trying to establish so in the process of doing that i said well hey i give i give you fifteen hundred dollars for christmas and the attorney said no that's not enough so while my attorney and, and her attorney's going back and forth to establish this, they put this out on me. I didn't even know. I didn't even know I had a warrant, you know what I'm saying, for this. So here I am. I'm just living my life casually, still paying child support, you right. know what I'm saying? And suddenly they put out this child abandonment warrant because they did not want to accept the 1500 So when I go to court, this is going to have to be reversed. It's going to have to be taken off my record because there was no point in time where there was any abandonment. There was no point in time where there wasn't I would be in the process of establishing all of my information, my documents. I need to see the contracts. I need, you know, when you start, when you're a celebrity, they want to do everything right. when it comes to the attorneys. So when Christmas rolled around, they was like, I was like, look, we don't have an agreement. We don't have an agreement of what to pay. That's what Okay, so as you can see by the title here, it says, you know, Young Jock says his uh, child abandonment charge came after his child's mother was dissatisfied with the renegotiated child support payments. And I wanted to dive into this for so many different reasons. The first reason being, as a person who's in a relationship with somebody and you have children with somebody, right? At, one po at what point are their children going to come first? And I know that might be like, oh, well, River, what are you what are you even talking about? Because you're saying what, at what point are the children going to come first? But, you know, she's fighting for child support payments to provide for her children. But more times than not, we see this happen when women are in situations where maybe the man is not paying them attention anymore. Maybe they don't feel like they have that handle over their baby father. You know, maybe it's because... Um, they don't have that friendship that they think that they deserve. Whatever it is, women start to get vindictive and they start to um, attack the person, right? So, and when they're when they're attacking this person, they're attacking this person on the merit of, you know, you're my baby daddy, not you're my child's father. Right. So they're not thinking about the fact that this is going to possibly affect their children. They're not thinking about the relationship between the children and the father. They're thinking of you hurt me at some point in time. So now I'm going to hurt you. You're not doing what I want you to do. And because I know that how everything is set up in this in the system. When it comes to being a mother uh, and the rights that a mother has um, instead of me you know, putting my child first and thinking of my child and what would best benefit my child, what I'm going to do instead is I am going to hold this thing over your head. And if you don't do what I say, I'm going to make sure that I go ahead and run to the people who can do something and affect you in a drastic way. There are people, I don't know how many, it says his child's mother. So I'm guessing it's one child, right? I don't know how many um other children he has because i know that young jock does have a lot of children but fifteen hundred dollars for a month for a child is a decent amount of money let's be clear let's be very clear fifteen hundred dollars for a month some some women get child support and they get two hundred dollars a month and they have a small child that that, that requires maybe formula, maybe, you know, pampers, wipes and all these things, but they kind of like have to deal with it because that's what, that's the realm that they're working in. $1,500 can do a little something. <laughs> okay. Can do a lot. Maybe if your child's in private school, things might be a little tight, but if your child is going to public school, when it comes to groceries, like 
$1,500 for the month can provide a lot of assistance because that's what child support is supposed to be. Child support is supposed to be assistance. Whereas if you guys were both in one house, you would both be financially supporting the child. So the mother's doing her part and the father is doing his part. $1,500 along with whatever it is that the mother is providing is a great deal of support for a child. Some of some people was getting um, that money in their stimulus check and didn't know how to act. Okay, so imagine getting that every getting that for a month just to say, okay, here while we're negotiating this situation, here is something that I can um, supply you with to be able to assist you. A lot of people say, like, yeah, that's a that's a pretty decent amount. But to turn around and say that that's child abandonment, abandonment is irrational. Okay, this man done got arrested. If you wanted more money, he wasn't able to even make that money because he was in jail. Because <laughs> he done got locked up, had to probably um, pay bail money to get out. Right, because it says they, they had a warrant for him. So obviously he must have been arrested. If I'm wrong, you guys can correct me in the comment section. But from what he's saying, that's what I'm taking from this story. Abandonment. And what I noticed is that, you know, the the baby, the baby daddies that kind of like don't really move on with their life. Because I, I believe he's moved on and he's married now. Most of the time, the baby daddies that don't really move on, that kind of like struggling or whatever, those baby moms never carry them for anything. They don't, um, you know, try to have like a bad relationship with them. They don't create that tumultuous relationship. But you, but you see, when that man moves on and he becomes happy with somebody else, that's when they weaponize the children. And the, uh, well, I'm the mother. I'm going to take you for child support. That's when they weaponize the situation that's there. Again, solely based off of maybe they're unhappy, maybe they're mad that you're happy, maybe whatever the case is, whatever the situation might be. And there's so many times that we see like how it's unfair, but when we see it on like a larger scale, people who actually have more money, more funds, more finances, um, who maybe even live a different lifestyle, and we see these things happening with them, you can imagine the regular man that if he misses this day of work based off of this foolishness misunderstanding with his baby mother that can jeopardize his entire financial situation that can jeopardize his entire job based off of this child's mother being dissatisfied with the fact that their child support payments had to change and rearrange and maybe it's because of his new wife maybe it's because of his new lifestyle whatever it is but instead of keeping a kindred relationship between you and the parent and saying, okay, all right, well, I'm used to this. Well, $1,500 is not really what I was looking for. Can we kind of settle on this? Instead of making it a dialogue, you have to go through the court system. It has to be this whole big thing. Now there's a warrant out for him. But what about your child and the relationship with their parent? What about that? Does that matter at all? No. More times than not, it's only about how the mother feels. When and, and as long as the mother is happy, the mother doesn't care about how the children feel. The mother doesn't care about how the child's father feels. She only cares about her happiness. A lot of these mothers are so self-centered. And the truth is the real reason why they're dissatisfied with the amount of payment and the real reason why they're dissatisfied with the fact that, you know, these things have to be renegotiated is because it's not benefiting them and it's only benefiting the child. And they feel like, well, what's the point? Because I need to get a piece out of this as well for my pain and suffering because we're not together. And I can't live the lifestyle that I wanted to live with you. So now that I'm not with you, you still have to supply me with a certain lifestyle. Because that's the whole point that I made myself your baby mother, if we're being real. And just to... Just to keep this this conversation very balanced as well, this is why it's very important to know the person who you are 
you know, partaking in very intimate acts in <laughs> extremely well as a man, knowing the character of a person very well, because it takes two to tango. We know that. But it's, it's very clear that if a child is brought into this world or not, it is solely dependent on that woman. And it has, we have to take in account and, and be aware of like the type of person. And I know that some people change. I'm not talking about that. Some people do change. But more times than not, this woman has showed her character in one way or, or another way before the child was even brought into this space. Way before that. And then once you get to that that space, it's hard to backpedal. Because his lawyer was speaking on his behalf. And it didn't stop the charge being put against him. It didn't stop the warrant being put against him. So I think that there needs to be a larger um, responsibility. And also I think that when men and women are connecting and they're having children, whether purposely, accidentally, which accidentally is like crazy at this time when it comes to there's so many different things in place that, place that you can do to protect yourself even prior to conception, just saying. But as a woman, you have to make sure that you're having a child for the right reason. And as a man, you have to make sure what that reason is as a woman is having the child also. But I want to know what you guys think about this. I was baffled. I was honestly baffled when I saw this in the um, on Instagram and I was scrolling. And child abandonment is crazy. Okay, child abandonment is crazy, especially when you're when you have a father who is so willing to at least provide some kind of financial support. He's not even running away. He's not even saying that's not his kid and going the, the opposite direction. He's willing and able. And somebody can still say that he's abandoning, abandoning his child. There's real kids that are abandoned. And we still don't even see those parents being forced with child abandon, abandonment charges. Even worse, if it's a woman who's abandoning her children. We'll never see that. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I generally want to know you guys' feelings, your thoughts, your opinions. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Love you.